Good job. Good job. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome to another traveling solo vlog. This is Solo. And right now I just want to show you how the taxi area is around uh, November 20th. This today is November 20th, Friday. So I just want to show you how the area is. And actually the curfew is about to start in half an hour. So I just want to show you how it is before the curfew starts. Which I think it's interesting because still this is the first time I've been here where there's a curfew. I've been here for about three months. So I just want to show you how it is. So let me turn the camera, I'll show you how Taksim area is. And also I want to show you Taksim area during the holiday time. A lot of crazy people over here. I don't know if you guys saw this guy in the background, but crazy guy just making some noise. <laughs> Let's turn the camera and see how it is. So surprisingly there's still a lot of people. And you see they actually have some like uh, decorations up for the holiday season. It is cold right now. It's around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 10 degrees Celsius. I see there's a lot of police here trying to enforce the enforcing the curfew over here. But normally there there are a lot of police here too. So see look at the beautiful decorations. Yeah, the Turkish flag. Looks like you got some like snowflakes or something going on over here. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's actually pretty crowded. And it should be in a half an hour, this place should be done. I heard actually foreigners are excluded from the curfew, but I'm not 100% sure. If that's the case, I'm gonna ask some policemen. If that's the case, I may show you like around 8 o'clock how it is. Right now it's around 7.30 as I'm recording. Tax free shopping. I don't know if you see this, it's tax free shopping. So apparently, uh, you know, if you're a foreigner in Istanbul or even in Turkey, you get a discount on shopping because they use taxes while you're shopping. Some countries don't use taxes, but Istanbul or Turkey uses taxes. So you get a discount if you're a foreigner. So you're free of the taxes, which is awesome. So you get more of a discount than a local person. So you see everyone is mainly wearing masks because you know this time of the year it's pretty crazy. See there's a perfume cologne seller over here going up to people. I don't know if he's gonna go up to me. Oh there's actually a couple. Which which he didn't know, which was great. I don't talk to him. Oh look the tram's coming this way. See in the middle, there's some tram tracks. The tram is coming. People actually use this tram, it's pretty old. They use this just for fun. See some kids are just riding it illegally. They don't care. They're like, whatever. There's just a random car just here too. So you can see some people don't obey the laws here, but whatever, this is how it is in any big city. We got a corn and chestnut cellar. You can see from my street food that a lot of people like to sell chestnuts and corn. There's a McDonald's on the left. So this is how Istikol Street is at nighttime. Oh, look at this hair. Amazing. It's actually quite beautiful at night time, I'm not gonna lie. It's November 20th, just before Thanksgiving time, even though they don't celebrate Thanksgiving, which is Turkey, you'd suspect they 
that you know carve a turkey, but no. Uh, that's something I miss about the U.S. Around this time, you can eat a nice turkey. You know, I'm in Turkey. There's no turkey. And this is a GS store. This is like the local football team over there. Over here, sorry. You see, in every like in every uh, front of the store, that it shows you have to wear a mask. And actually, I'm gonna walk a little bit further. They have a Christmas tree over here, which uh, Turkey or yeah, so Turkey is a Muslim country predominantly, but obviously there's Christians and other religions here too. But I want to show you a beautiful Christmas tree right next to the church. So if it's open, I can show you. If the church isn't open, I can't show you. We'll just carry on. Hopefully it is open. I can show you a beautiful Christmas tree. So something nice. And also a beautiful church in this area too. Sweet shop. Mado. If you don't know Mado, it's actually a famous street shop. Sweet shop over here. Let me show you. Oh. Got nice sweets over here. Look at this. All these sweets just packed up. Amazing. Turkish ice cream, right? Actually, I just recorded my video in Bashi Tash. So if you want to see that video, be more than free to, you know, just check out my channel and check out that video. So I just got back from Bashi Tash. I just want to show you this area before I finish my video because I think this this area is interesting because it's, it's actually always is lively, always has foreigners, always has people. So if, if you ever do come to Istanbul, come to Istikal Street, which is in Taksim Square, it's lovely. It's basically like top 10 spots, or I'd say top 5 spots to go to in Istanbul. It's always lively here, literally. I was here at 12 o'clock at night, 2 o'clock. Look at this big police vehicle, wow. Big van for police. Ready to catch people. Amazing. I'm just joking, I don't know if they want to catch people, but it's amazing to see the van. Oh, look at this, this is another police vehicle. I'm gonna try to put it in the camera to show you guys. It's nice. Z19. There's Gap over here. It's actually pretty lively over here. There's a little mall over there. So if you see my previous video, I'm pretty sure I talked about that. Of its Tikal Street is a more in-depth view of its Tikal Street. So I think I showed you a fair enough of its Tikal Street before the restrictions happen, and also of its Tikal Street in the nighttime. So I want to go to the church, and hopefully, if it's open, I can show you the Christmas tree. So I'll see you the next shot. Okay, so I actually reached the front of the church, well, in front of the gate, but unfortunately the gate is closed right now because I think they're just, you know, obviously closing because in like 20-30 minutes the whole area is going to close, but I don't know if you can see in front of me, I'll try to put the picture right there, there's a big beautiful Christmas tree. I don't celebrate Christmas, but it's just beautiful to see. There it is. And then actually if I went up close, you can see how big it is. Pretty large. And actually the church inside is pretty beautiful too. Hello. I'm trying to record the Christmas tree. Huh? The church is closed now, yes? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the church is closed. You can tell the lady said it's closed, but check it out. This is how it looks like. So I'm actually in, uh, you see I'm still on the Taksim. Or it's to call street as I call, but it's called Taksim area. So if you ever do come here, I advise you go to the church, just check it out. Even if you don't celebrate uh, Christmas, it's just nice to see around this time because they have a lot of decorations. 
so yeah i'm just gonna be walking around this area and actually i'm gonna have to go home soon i heard the curfew or the restriction isn't for foreigners which i'm a foreigner over here and i have to go home at eight but i just want to go home soon anyways just because there's nothing to do and everything's closing up at eight o'clock what's the point of staying out so that being said i hope you enjoyed the video please hit that like button also subscribe you know i also appreciate it you know that guy too it's so funny when i record myself i came and see like other people i'm just looking at the camera looking at you in the camera and that uh you can't see what's happening around me but anyways yeah hope you take care be safe out there wear that mask i know it's annoying it's annoying for me but yeah so just enjoy your time so that being said i want to finish the video peace Some guys interviewing someone right in front of me. Man, I need a cameraman. You see he has a cameraman? I need that. Okay, so this is Traveling Solo Log Supplemental. So it's Friday night right now, November 20th. And you can't stay out past 8 o'clock. I've been told by two policemen. One was actually has like assault rifle. But uh, I just want to show you that actually you can go out past 8 o'clock tonight But tomorrow is when the cur curfew or the restriction starts but I just want to show you that actually this street over here is to call street That right now restaurants or even like cafes, you can call this a restaurant Is not letting people inside, you can see they're just ordering from outside Ordering some nice, beautiful donor meat. So, so the restrictions did start, but it's little. I want to say it's little because restrictions did start, but it's just little. Just right now, the restaurant cannot dine in. So for now on, you cannot dine in for the weekend, and they may start it during the week, but. The news isn't official yet because people are still adjusting to it so they don't really know what exactly is happening and I don't know either. I'm not a journalist. So that being said, I just want to give you a little supplemental log. The people are still out right now. This is like one of the most crowded streets in Istanbul. You can see people are walking their dogs. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit crowded right now but uh, you have to dine out. Only delivery or takeout. Basically, they're gonna start the curfew basically starting tomorrow 10 a.m. You're allowed to go out 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So if you ever if you plan on going to Turkey in this meantime Just keep that in mind and just you know always check up on the news because it's always adjusting always changing And I'll catch you on another another time, but I just wanted to give you a little supplemental log. So peace out guys